Are you looking for a good blender for your kitchen? I'm gonna talk about that because I've been making a lot of smoothies lately and we just got a blender that I'm really digging. But first of all, hi, hi to all the dads there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you unedited, hopefully more authentic reviews of the products that I've bought and that I'm liking. And hopefully uh, it helps to guide you in your decision making and they come off more authentic and more trusted. So uh, if you're into that, click that subscribe button. I would definitely appreciate that. And a thumbs up is always appreciated as well. Um, so I got a blender, by the way, if you want to check out the blender, I'll link it up down in the description below, but I got this blender, uh, it's an Oster, hey, look, let me, I have it full because I'm going to show y'all uh, the smoothie, how it crushes all the stuff, but it's, it's an Oster, I really, really like it, I'll, uh, I'll bring it, I'll bring y'all down here in just a second, but before I do that, I want to tell y'all why we got a new blender, uh, this is our old blender right here, it's a Hamilton Beach, and this thing has just, <laughs> we've really, uh, used it and abused it. We've had it for years. My mom originally had it. She gave it to my wife and I. And uh, it was a really great blender. Just I've been doing a lot of smoothie making lately. And so the, um, the engine, the motor's starting to burn out on it. And I, it's starting to have like a very plasticky smell. So we decided to, uh, to get this new one here, the Oster, which I, I'm really digging. Uh, first of all, the th first thing that I noticed about this, whenever I was looking at all the blenders at Target, most of them are all have a, um, a plastic uh, container, but this one is glass, and I really like a glass um, uh, blender, ba uh, what do you call that, to cup? We'll call it a cup, okay? <laughs> and um, all the other ones that I was looking at were uh, plastic ones. I was like, man, I really want, and then uh, also, whenever it comes to a blender, I look at the wattage of it. And most of them were around like the 700 watt range, which isn't bad. It's probably what this old one is, if I had to guess. I don't think it says it on here. But uh, this one here that I found was a 900 watt. And I was looking at like the Ninjas and Vitamixes and all that, and those are like the really expensive ones. If y'all care to check those out, I'll link them up down below. But uh, those have wattages of like 12 to 1600. So um, I figured I could get a little bit better wattage than what I could with some of the other ones that had plastic bases than this one here. When this one is a little bit more expensive just because of that. The more wattage you have, I'm finding the more expensive it is. And the more durable it seems to be with like the glass jar and the metal base as opposed to a plastic one. So um, the top here is just a black piece right here. The middle part opens up here. You can easily take it out so you can shove more things into there with, with still keeping with a splash guard on it. And then that, I'm gonna bring y'all down, just fits right here on top of the blender. Fits really snug, easy in there. Someone's calling, hang on, decline. So now uh, here, you can just uh, choose what setting you want here and you have a high low switch right here. It's fairly simple to use, so it's 12 speeds. I like to start off on low, and I usually do like a blend or a shred with what I got here. By the way, this is frozen strawberries, uh, some other frozen berries, some protein powder, some uh, Greek yogurt, and, and uh, almond milk. So. It gets it good, gets it going, and you can see how it'll kind of start sucking it down, and it'll make a nice vortex. Now because it's all frozen stuff, it's going to be a little bit choppier and it's going to take a little bit longer to make that vortex. But you can hear the power, that 900 watts of power in there. It's quite amazing. If it starts doing this, sometimes I'll just give it a little shake and that'll get it going. What it's doing down there right now is it's breaking up everything. So just give it a second to break everything up and eventually you'll get that good vortex. You can eat, this is on low too. We can put it on high and see what it does. Let's do it. There you go, you see it? We have all that frozen stuff sticking together. I hear it in there, you can hear it crunching. And then if you want to pulse it too, they have a pulser. So that's kind of nice because it'll let everything kind of settle. And then you pulse it, pulse it. And you can see how it's starting to want to vortex there. There we go. See that? That's what you want. 
Yeah! Nice smoothie. Let's open it up. Oh yeah, that's looking great right there. This has a little bit more to chop up. Turn it off for just a second so you guys can really hear that power that's in there. It's quite amazing uh, what 900 watts gets you and uh, just the power that it's using to get it to. I really like my smoothies very liquidy, so uh, the, the more smoother it can get, the better. And that's what, I love. that's what I like about this blender is that it really can take it to the next level. This one right here, look, I'll plug it in just to show you guys. It still works. Oh, you might have to have the thing on it. Get it right here. Another thing, oh, I wanted to mention this about the blenders is this one, the old one, has these teeth here that fit into the blender bottom there, and they just kind of circle with each other, and that's one of the reasons why it's smelling so plasticky and rubbery after it goes for a while. This one, on the other hand, works on a, a hole right there, and it's got a metal a pole that you stick that into, and it's a square pole, so it, it rotates that, and that's what gives it a good blend. So hopefully, we won't have as much as of that stink that uh, this blender gives us, but... Oh, this one, oh, there it is. See, it still get, it still works. It just doesn't do as good of a chopping, a chopping that the Oster does. So if you guys want to check this out again, link's down in the description below. I'm really liking it. Um, thank you guys for watching. If y'all want more videos from us, there's two right there on the screen. Click one of those to go check it out. If you have something that you want me to review, let me know down in the comments below and I'll see if I can get my hands on it. Again, that thumbs up is appreciated and dad out.